Hi guys, so we are back with another episode of Feel Good. I am very excited today because I have a beautiful, amazing woman with me. I'm obsessed with her. You will also be obsessed with her. So uh, I'm Adriana. I yes. own Anima Mundi in Greenpoint, Brooklyn. We are an apothecary where we make all sorts of medicinal concoctions and wonderful remedies for the mind, body, and soul. So I'm a Costa Rican herbalist. I was born and raised in Costa Rica. So what aspects of the jungle are you most inspired by? Oh, that's a great question. Yeah. I love especially walking barefoot in the jungle. I love to like, if you're wild crafting, I feel like the plants reveal themselves, or this is kind of like a forager saying or whatever. Mm -hmm. But when you're walking in the jungle, they reveal themselves to you yes. if you're tuning in and yes. kind of like joining the frequency. So I love that the jungle naturally inspires that in anybody, no matter how tuned in or out you are. You go, you walk in barefoot and you kind of like become it. Talk to me about the difference between like wildcrafted versus like maybe conventional herb, like what that kind of mm -hmm. means. Mm -hmm. Very good question. So wildcrafted, I mean ethically wildcrafted is yes. somebody that respects and harvests only what they're supposed to harvest. Let's say no. for themselves or for the days. And then conventional is just regular mono monocropped kind of farming, exactly. but then it's mega pesticide or herbicide. When you're sourcing, are you actually going to someone and saying, hey, I'd love exactly. your rhodiola or exactly. like whatever it is. Exactly. Like right now we're sourcing rhodiola from Alaska and it's all wild crafted and also they replant in the wild. Amazing. So they're like wild crafting it themselves. So how do you see people using the product most? Euphoria, I would say winter blues are a classic. Okay. So people that are like feeling like the, the seasonal depression yes. or any kind of like level, like small depression that they kind yeah, of need yeah, a little yeah. booster every day yeah. or someone that's overworked and they're just kind of like, why am I doing this? Like, yeah. I don't have a purpose anymore. This is ridiculous. I always recommend Euphoria. Wow. And then also for people that just kind of want to get like a little spicy and get a little horny, then yeah, they should just I drink a little Euphoria. I want all three of Or even things. save people having trouble with getting pregnant. <laughs> really? Euphoria. Oh yeah. my gosh, that's yeah. amazing. So boost up the fertility a little bit. Amazing. Yeah. So developing the actual product, Anima Mundi. Talk to me about like, how did it start? Did it start with one formula? A bunch of things. So okay. I did a bunch of, let's say, like 10 master formulas okay. on like, you know, all okay. these different symptoms that we all yes. kind of share and what happens in the city, you know? like Oh, New York is, yes. So that kind of started with 10 products in a small kitchen in Long Island City and then we just kind of grew and we oh, kind of wow. started expanding and our manufacturing is between Long Island City and Brooklyn. And wow, and so it's like all here. Yeah. How were they different? How do you recommend using the powder based on using the liquid? Are they, I would say it really settings? depends on your lifestyle. Like Got some it. people are like, I'm grab and go. I don't have time to oh. make my little potion or whatever. Okay. So I would say just slam it in your purse and just like drink as you yes. go, you know, especially if it's adaptogenic kind of mushroom of stuff. Of course, of course. Um, if you have the powders and you love making your morning coffee kind of thing, then I always suggest adding it into your coffee or whatever you like, oh. tea or it can even be like lemon water. Yeah. yeah. And so the liquid formula, how are people using it most? How do you use it most? I drink it more like, and as I said, in a mocktail, yeah. like kind of like enjoying it in a lemonade or yes. whatever. I love it in that. I also love like making like a mango steamed tea and kind of adding Ooh, it for I kind of vitamin C Ooh, yumminess. I love that. Okay, so I'm yeah. very excited because we're actually going to make a mocktail. Ooh. Ginger beer, ginger, yummy. Oh, goji berries, love hibiscus. That. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I'm very excited. You made the name up just now. Mojo, Mojo Booster. I love it. It's so simple. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start with ice. It is a mocktail. This doesn't have alcohol in it, however. If you did want to put alcohol in this, it would totally be okay. First thing I'm going to have you do, I'm going to have you take an orange and cut it in half for me. And squeeze it in. Get it in. So you really want to try to get all the juice you can. If you make a mess, that means you're doing it right. So if <laughs> I get it. some orange juice on me, which she got me good. <laughs> Sorry. Um, no, it's good. That's great. That's perfect. We're going to do the exact same thing with the lime. So go ahead and cut that in li um, lime in half. And just to squeeze a bit, right? This is just simple. like like a cute little, that's it. I don't need to really get all the good stuff out. And now we're gonna take my favorite. So this is pineapple and ginger puree. So I take about two cups of raw pineapple with about, let's say, like a two inch knob of ginger and blend it together. If you wanna strain it with a strainer, you totally can. For me, like, I kinda like when it's got some mm -hmm. texture and stuff to it. Totally. Um, I do wanna talk quickly about pineapple. It's best for texture if you freeze the pineapple beforehand. Mm -hmm but you certainly don't have to. I love that. If you want to add a really interesting smoky element, which I think is really kind of interesting and sexy, you can grill the pineapple. Ooh. I know it's cool. So you can Amazing. actually take some pineapple, cut it, a little oil, put it on a grill pan, and then blend it up with some ginger. Whoa. Crazy town. Um, but for this, <laughs> this is just pineapple and ginger blended up. We're just going to pour probably about equal parts, exactly how much orange we have. And then, Da, 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 da. I'm gonna have you put the euphoria mm. in. So here's the deal with this. I love for 
serving, I love one teaspoon, two teaspoons. I think we should really go for it though. Yeah, like go Perfect. for it. Perfect. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nope, nope. Maybe a little more. Do some more. A little do some more. more. Do some yeah. more. Mojo booster. Um, yes, Why not? yes. We're boosting our mojo here. <laughs> I love it. And you can see actually the color too. So at this point, I love just stirring it. This is really, really beautiful. Delicious. We're also going to add some goji berries, which Ooh. we love. Go ahead. Just as many as you think is beautiful. There's also hibiscus in the formula, so I thought it'd be really pretty to put some actual hibiscus Gorgeous. in the formula. Sprinkle as you see fit. We love a little sprinkle. A nice mm. little spoon. You, but this is so darling. You have, oh my god, that is, that is the cutest little thing. I'm gonna have you microplane, so I'm gonna have you grab another orange. Okay. Which I love. Microplane. <laughs> Keep zesting. I'm gonna add in ginger beer at the very end. So anything carbonated, you wanna add at the end, because you don't wanna like shake up or stir anything once it has carbonation in it. And go ahead and, ooh, yes, ma'am. Oh my God. Shot of my dreams. Go, keep mm. it up, more, more, more. Ooh. Get in, get in. And then we're gonna finish it off with, this is actually my favorite part, candy ginger. And you stir it up, and you get like a chilled piece of candy ginger. Oh my God, delicious. So delicious. This is it, simple. If you wanted to add a little lime zest, you could. If you wanted to add lemon zest, of course you could. If you wanna get really fancy, let me show you. We're all about being fancy. So you can actually take a little lemon juice, lime juice, orange juice, whatever you want, dunk your glass in it. You can make a mixture of hibiscus, salt, or sugar, dunk the glass in it. What you will have is you will have a beautiful edge to your glass, so just imagine. Also, if you wanted to shave some fresh ginger, even if you wanted to just microplane it, obviously you'd want to peel it, but if you did want to microplane a little fresh ginger into your Tonic, you totally could. It is up to you on how gingery you want your situation to be. I always want my situation gingery. I so, agree. Right? 100%. <laughs> so cheers, my dears. Boop. Yum. Cheers. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh my God, that is so good. Mm. I love the ginger beer cake. It, see? Yeah. It's, it makes a difference. So it makes a difference, better. but this is not. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Adriana, thank you so much for coming. Mm -hmm. This means so much to me. Especially summer's coming, I'm just saying. Summer, beach, right? Pool, yeah. oh, right? Yeah. It's the mojo booster. When do you need, when do you need mojo most? I'm just saying. Mm -hmm.